Hello all. In this video, we will see how to store the Wi-Fi and Telegram app credentials at the user end. In the previous video, we have seen the Telegram app to control a 1HV motor uh, by giving messages from Telegram app. In this video, we will see how to get the credentials at the user end. This is the basic code which we used in the previous uh, uh, project. Here the Wi-Fi password, bot ID, all details, all credentials are uh, entered in the code itself. So while uploading the code, previously you have to feed in all the credentials and after uploading, it will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi SSID and Telegram app will start. In this video, we will see how to get these credentials at the user end. As in the same video, we use the one HP motor and DOL starter, direct online starter and ESP32 with a two channel relay board is used to connect with the DOL starter. The ESP32 here is used on a baseboard baseboard like this. this is very handy baseboard all gpo pins are extended uh, using the berg pins and on board it has got a 3.3 volt regulator a 5 volt 3.3 volt ground tx or x pins all are extended using gpo pins the most useful part is you can directly provide a c or a v8 or dc power source so this uh, baseboard is very handy we are using this base code for uh, placing the ESP32. Before checking the actual code, let us see the sample ESP web server code, Wi-Fi uh, that is web, web server code which is used to collect the SSID and other credentials uh, using web server. Here ESP32 is started in soft IP mode that is access point mode and we provide the SSID name as ESP32 config and uh, password as setup1234. You have to connect your PC or mobile to this uh, soft AP and then open the web server IP address. Here the web server is uh, uh, displayed uh, using the handle client function. It displays the HTML page and the server is started at 192.168.4.1. This is the soft AP IP address. Before that you have to disconnect your previous SSID and connect to the access point which we started from the ESP32. You have to connect your PC or mobile to this soft AP and then open the IP address 192.168.4.1 in your web browser. You will be presented the web page, HTML page. Here you have to collect all the credentials. This is the basic idea. Now let us see the hardware. In the hardware we have a push button that is a configure button this red button when you push keep pushing on and then switch on the power it will enter the configure mode inside the box we have a esp32 and a two channel relay board the two channel relay board we use is a low enable relay so when you provide a low the relay will on the connections are gpo 23 of esp32 connected to in1 gpo 22 to in2 red led uh, long lead is connected to GPO 18 and green LED to GPO 19 and GPO 0 is connected to the push switch. So when you press this switch, it will enter the configure mode. When you press and hold the switch while booting, it will enter the configure mode. The top relay, we are using the NO contact and the bottom relay, we use the NC contact. That is the normally open and normally closed. The normally open contact of our relay will go to the, go straight across the green button of the DOL starter, the NC connection of for the second relay, normally closed contact will go in series with the red button. We have to remove one wire from the starter and connect this our NC contact in between. That is it goes in series so that by manually also we can cut and from telegram also we can cut. The motor, one HP motor is connected to the overload relay. This is the actual code. Before explaining the actual code, let us see the skeleton. Here uh, we use the E square prom of uh, ESP32, which has got 512 bytes of uh, uh, storage. That is uh, non-volatile storage. We'll be collecting the SSID and other credentials, store it in E square prom, and then we retrieve it in the normal mode. If the button is pressed, it will enter the configure mode, and then the web server is started at 192.168.4.1. We have to connect 
connect our PC or mobile to this uh, soft IP and open the browser and uh, go to this uh, IP address and feed in the credentials. And in the normal mode, from the eSquare Prom, the stored credentials are retrieved back. And now upload the code. Once code is uploaded, press and hold the red button. So while it boots up, it will enter the configure mode. While powering up, if you press the boot button, it will enter the configure mode. The red LED will glow and uh, it will start the web server. You have to connect uh, your PC or mobile to the uh, soft IP and then open the 192.168.4.1 and provide all your credentials, SSID, password, telegram bot, token, ID. And then it will automatically reset and it will connect to the SSID you provided and the green LED will glow. So the concept is when you press and hold the button and while providing the power, it will enter the configure mode. Otherwise, it will get back the uh, SSID from E Square Pro and it will glow. The green entity will glow in the normal mode. So this is the ESP32 code in Arduino, and we use libraries. There is a Wi-Fi.h library used for uh, which manages Wi-Fi connections. WebServer.h it handles HTTP server. E square prom h this is very important uh, library it is inbuilt it provides read and write access to e square prom memory using this only we are going to retrieve the ssid that is uh, fed at the user end and wi-fi client secure.h is a secure client for handling https connections and finally this universal telegram bot dot h this you have to install from the library manager now let us see the e square prom addresses uh, totally, we have 512 bytes of uh, e square prom memory that is non volatile memory in ESP32 uh, that we declare initially is as 512 bytes. And then uh, uh, the SSID address starts at the byte 0 and password, password starts from byte 32. So 0 to 31 is for SSID address and starting from 32 it is for password. And bot token address it is as it is long. Let us start is start at uh, 128 byte to the end, and uh, chat ID at uh, location 64 fourth byte, and uh, we define the pins that is the for on relay IN1 we'll use the GPO 23, GPO 22 to for off relay, and set up button at GPO 0 and green LED, uh, red LED, there is a config LED at 18, GPU 18 and a green LED at normal 19. Motor status, let us uh, uh, give it as integer, initial value is 0. And the web server, uh, this variable creates an instance uh, of the web server class to handle HTTP uh, requests. The port 80 is the default port for HTTP traffic. Uh, this instance of uh, web server listens for incoming HTTP requests such as those from web browser trying to access the configuration page and sending that data to ESP32 and uh, Wi-Fi client secure is used to handle secure communication via HTTPS. This is important for uh, interacting uh, uh, interacting with the web services that require encrypted connections, Wi-Fi, client secure. And then the universal telegram bot. Uh, this is a class used to interact with the telegram bot API. The pointer bot is used to manage the bot instance. This is a pointer bot which is used to manage the uh, bot instance and perform actions like uh, sending and receiving messages. It is in initialized as uh, null pointer to indicate that no bot instance is created at the beginning. The actual uh, object is created dynamically during the normal operation phase of the code using the bot token retrieved from e square prompt. And then the setup function, we uh, define the as pin mode the on pin and off pin as output initially it will be high as it is low enable relay and then the relay leds uh, we initially make it as low and then the uh, uh, we make it the set setup button uh, input pull up so that initially it is high so when you press the button it will become low 
This is the begin function of eScript from uh, library with the uh, 512 bytes and we check for the red button whether the red button is pressed if it is pressed it will start the start config mode to collect the credentials otherwise it will go to the normal operation mode the void loop that is uh, uh, the repeatedly it is uh, checking for the uh, whether the bot is initialized the bot is a pointer to an instance of the universal telegram bot class it is initially set to null pointer and in only instantiated later in the normal operation. Uh, so it handles the HTTP client request for configuration. And uh, the bot get updates. It retrieves messages from the telegram server. The parameter bot uh, to the right arrow mark lost message received plus one. It ensures uh, uh, that only messages received after the last known messages are retrieved. The handle new messages function. The num new messages stores the number of uh, new messages retrieved. And then the handle new messages function is called. This function is called with the number of new messages and the authorized chat ID. It processes each message to check if it is from the authorized user and perf performs action like turning the motor on and off. And then the server handle uh, client function, it manages the HTTP server's interactions with clients. It handles request, uh, request to configure page or any other HTTP interactions set up in the start config mode function. And then the uh, configuration mode. Let us come back to the... Uh, come back to the normal mode uh, later after finishing the configuration mode once the uh, button is pressed it will uh, go to the start config mode it uh, sets the esp32 in access point mode wi-fi mode is set to access point mode and then uh, uh, the access it allows uh, it this mode will allow to configure uh, configuration via web interface it serves an html a configuration page where uh, users can input Wi-Fi credentials and other credentials. Uh, so the soft IP, the name we are giving it as ESP32 config, password is setup32 and then we start the server. Uh, this is the HTML configuration page that is a start page. The, once the server is started, you have to go to this uh, 192.168.4.1 after connecting to the soft API and then the setup page will open where you will collect all the credentials and the message handling section we have this uh, function handle new messages it has got two parameters num new messages and then uh, this is for number of new messages retrieved from telegram and the authorized uh, chat id this is the string this is for only messages from this chat id are processed and it processes the incoming telegram messages like uh, on off and uh, status it will loop through the new messages using this for loop uh, and it will retrieve the message details if uh, chat id of the message doesn't match the authorized id it will give the uh, detail as unauthorized id and in the normal operation the normal led is set to glow so uh, after the we collect the credentials it will start with a normal operation automatically this uh, green led will glow and will, uh, it connect to the uh, ssid we provided once the ssid is uh, connected the toy way is connected or the string bot token that is a telegram of bot token and the authorized chat id or uh, printed this is only for uh, uh, verification that is debugging purpose uh, this is for safety you need not uh, print this this is only for debugging purpose we are printing it and most important is this secured client set certificate ca certificate without this certificate telegram app will not respond this is very important uh, do not forget to add this this is handled by the telegram app uh, library so you have to include this certificate and finally you can uh, 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 the check telegram bot will check 
uh, the messages and act accordingly finally it is all the it is uh, cleanup uh, is called this will release the memory allocated for the telegram bot instance so the the main thing is the eprom through the eprom uh, we collect and store the all the credentials and then we retrieve all the credentials so upload this code once the code is uploaded uh, when you press hold press and hold the red button while providing the power it will start uh, it will go to the configure mode the web server is started at 192.168.4.1 and you have to connect your uh, pc or mobile to this soft ap the soft ap name is csv32 config you release the previous ssid and then connect with connect your wi-fi to this ap uh, with the so with the password set up one two three four once it is connected you can use the uh, ip address 192.168.4.1 in your web browser to open the uh, web form to feed in the credentials go to your browser feed in this uh, ip address the esp32 configuration for page will open provide your uh, wi-fi ssid at the user end wi-fi password and then telegram bot token that is collected from the telegram app and then the telegram chat id and then click on save automatically the settings are saved in the e square prom and it will start automatically you can do this at the user end using your mobile also instead of pc using your mobile you connect your mobile uh, go to the settings connect the wi-fi to the soft ap esp32 config and then open your browser go to the 192.168.4.1 you will get the configuration page feed in the credentials and then save it will automatically stop, start it will automatically restart and uh, you will see the green led now you can see the wi-fi is connected to the uh, ssid you provided in the web page so in this restart it will automatically connect the telegram app is initiated and uh, you will get the uh, chat id and the token id uh, printed once the credentials are collected uh, it will automatically restart and it will connect to the ssid provided you can see the green led now connect the uh, power to the motor open the telegram app go to the telegram bot and click on start you will get back the details so if on pressing on on the motor will start and uh, pressing on off the motor will go off according to the telegram message and status will give the uh, data detail so on and off from telegram message is possible by getting the wi-fi credentials and the user uh, user in thank you for watching